Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorial on Squarespace Developer. Today in this video, we're going to be building a simple blog. So to get started, you can see that in our source code, we have a folder called collections. And at least in my template, the basic template, probably most Squarespace templates, I would assume, come with this blog. Um, these three different files. We have blog.item, blog.list, and blog.conf. And then pretty much you can do whatever you want as a collection. It doesn't simply have to be a blog. But of course, list is, I'll pull up the blog that we're gonna be building here. So in the spirit of my little space site, I'm just gonna do something simple like this, just the, the NASA blog. All of the, the blog posts will be the list, and then of course each post will be the item. So let's start with actually getting a page up. Come over here to blog.conf. So this is pretty this is pretty basic and kind of just what we need to get started into here. Let's add a new page. So instead of a layout, we're gonna come down to collections. And you can see right here that we already have a blog collection. So to demonstrate that we can alter that and add whatever we want, let's let's call let's call this NASA blog and we'll we will push that up using git. Now let's refresh this. And now you can see that the name has changed here, NASA blog. So let's go ahead and click on that and let's just call it blog. Edit settings and modify the URL to just be slash blog and let's save it. Okay, so now we can click on our blog route and it'll actually take us to the page that we have. The template being used, used page layout is just our default. So coming back over here to site.region, this is what it's being, is being used. Let's get rid of this site title or logo. I don't really want that to be injected into every page. So very bare bones here. We just have nav footer and it's telling us no posts yet. So let's let's have some content. Let's have some posts so that we can at least see some stuff rendered on the page and then we can go about styling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and copy some of this stuff. If we click on here, we can now add a post by clicking that. So here's our title. And let's go read full post. So this is just normal Squarespace stuff. All right, and let's categorize this as, let's create a category. Let's just call this storm updates. All right. Save and publish. All right, let's just create one more. Let's come down here to something a little bit different, the space station. Let's also create excerpts here, so it doesn't just render everything. And now we can see kind of our basic blog. Let's click on this one and then, so there, I mean, this is just, you know, out of the box, how it is basically styled, but let's, let's change it. Let's make it look a little bit closer to this. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on getting this similar, but I'll just go through it and kind of uh, probably just speed up a lot of the CSS HTML coding. But let's uh, let's see what we can do here. So first thing we want to do is in here, let's create a new, let's create a blog.css style sheet for that. And then the template, let's make sure to add that style sheet. Okay, and before we forget, let's push that. Now let's start with a blog list. Okay, so in the item here, we have the author and the date. Let's just go ahead and grab this, paste it right above our um, our body. 
which is the excerpt. Okay, let's say posted on, and then come in here and get this, grab this time tag. And then on the category, we have the category here and the item. So let's go just grab that and go get categories. And then it'll just repeat. Here is our blog list. It's obviously pretty uh, basic. Now let's move on to the uh, blog item. All right, so now that we have our list and our post kind of built out, just the template, let's now build a little block. Oh, that will go right over both the list and the item that will allow us to filter by category and also search the blog. So let's come over here. Let's create a new block. Blog filter search block. All right, now that we have our blog filter and search block, let's start building it out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create values for these options. And this is gonna be our route blog. And then in order to query, for the category, we get category equals, and then let's do storm plus updates. And then same thing for this one, but space station. Now let's add some JavaScript. And what we can do is let's add a new script called blog.js. So we'll route using location.href equals whatever the current location is, the protocol. That is um, HTTP or HTTPS. And so the window.location.host will be whatever the website address is. Like right now we're using localhost, so it'll be that. And then that plus whatever the value from this select is. So we need to add our blog script here to our region file underneath the jQuery code is being injected into the footers. So we need to put our script below that to make sure that we can access jQuery. So. This is our script referencing the blog.js file. Reload the blog list page, and now we can click on storm updates. You can see the URL changes, and it filters by that. And then we can also do space station, and it'll filter by that. When you filter like this, it shows up here because of this little area. Um, and you can remove this and style it however you want. You could also map it somehow so that um, when you click on this and the page refreshes you don't you don't lose that you can actually have it map so that whatever value this is um, it matches this and it'll auto select Let's push our changes here and then we'll move on to doing the last piece of this tutorial and that is the search functionality i'm going to add a block field here refresh and let's see if we can find it here in the cms and there it is so let's click on that and then we'll edit and let's just search for search and click there you can search this specific page or you can search entire website and in this case i do want to search the specific page because i want to leave it constrained to just the blog so within the whole list or the item it will search the entire blog the collection Let's search for uh, science. Let's see what it shows up. 
Cool. So it's showing us this post. We can also hit enter and it'll take us to a little custom, um, little custom results page that you actually can't access in local dev. Um, but it's, it has default styling. You can't edit it through this. So if we just go to science, this with a little photo and you click that, it'll take you to the actual post. So there we go. This is kind of a simple little example of a custom blog. This wasn't meant to be a very elaborate thing. This is just kind of meant to show you how you can configure your own blog based on whatever design you have and that you can really get uh, creative and have a lot of flexibility in terms of what, what you can do. So please like this if it helped you, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.